That was um that was uh cause park. Yeah, yeah shit. Around here we had shit. It was NBC niggas beyond control. We had SVP, you know, Smithville Posse. We had uh shit, that's basically was our groups right there. And like I said, when the SVP started, you know, it kinda like I said, we was beaches. You know what I'm saying? We was young. You know what I'm saying? We had uh like Chris, Chris Gilfield. <laughs> we and this shit's a nigga every day. That was the only nigga that could never really be part of it. Every day with the nigga out the bus, man, we gotta initiate you again, man. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't doing right. it. You ain't doing it right, you know what I'm saying, man. You gotta fight. You know what I'm saying? What's the name one there? He one there, that one there. Boy, me and Luke, yeah, that was my nigga. That was my ride or die. Still my nigga. I said, this boy, you know what I'm saying? That nigga gonna go to a war with us every, with me every time. Always give me fuck. It was 100 against us. It was us. I mean, one time we was up, the, uh, up down in the tree, bro, on Smith Street. And y'all whooped it one day, you know what I'm saying? That's when we first started crippling the blood and shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, stay away from this shit. But anyway, uh, we up the street, you know what I'm saying? They, they, one day the dude was in front of us. The dude was in the house. It was the mob. The mob. mob. He's down there on the corner of Challenge Street. You know what I'm saying? On the corner of Challenge yeah. and all Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, little youngster over there, you know, he went to get down there in front of uh, shit, you know, the mom and dad and all of them was out in the house, but you know what I'm saying? He got to whoop the loud and shit. This, that, and other man. Look, like, bring your ass on down the street, bring your ass down the street, bitch. You know, shit, we got something for your bitch ass, you know what I'm saying? Right. Bitch, you ain't coming through the, through the hood no more like that. So, you know, he kind of, you know, his mom came out there, bitch, y'all don't around here, this, that, and other. So, we, we went on here, you know, went about our business. So, a day or two we went by. We sit up under the tree, laying down on the knees, top. Nope. Uh, I think Troy, Alex, uh, Lauren. Now I was out there, you know, we, you know, doing, just laying down those shit, throwing horseshoes and shit like we always do. So I'm sitting up there, um, on the motherfucking me, uh, table, and I'm facing Smith Street. My back was against 107, and Nuki was facing me. And Top was on the uh, right of me, and Troy was on, uh, Dwayne was on the left side. And Top Man said, he seen the little youngster live on the bicycle that was coming from down Challenge Street, coming, coming towards the store and shit. So, motherfucker was like, uh, there they go, Buffy. He said, the old dude ain't that old boy from yesterday. I said, man, I been seen that nigga. I said, nigga, you got it? You, you ready? I said, shit. <laughs> nigga, we playing down on, I remember I put it on like 15, right? Hit 15. Dude knows about, I mean, but. Damn, they're about to come in front of the house. They trying to, you know, keep the head straight and shit. Nigga, we hump their bike down, punch that nigga out the mother. Like, boy, we whooped him in front of them. Where them apartments at now? Yeah. And when the apartments like woods right there. Yeah, boy, we shit. whooped his ass, that motherfucker. Boy, me and Luke was trying to tear that nigga apart. We was in that bitch whooping his ass up. <laughs> and they ain't come back to Smithville no more. 
That nigga ain't come back to me at all. Then we whooped that nigga ass that morning, that day. Shit, on some, on some real shit. shit. We was on some G shit, man. We wasn't no, <laughs> Smithville, we was nigga, nigga. We wasn't no, yeah. But no coming through here. Yeah. Yeah, without that foot, without getting it. You know what I'm saying? Without getting it. Shit, like the white boys that one night. You know what I'm saying? You might have to get some of this. <laughs> <laughs> but the white boys, you know what I'm saying? They ride through the hood one night. You know how they used to be. Yeah, and shit like that. When the motherfuckers had a Dallas Cowboys. Motherfuckers on the highway. Pass the Bible. Coming down with us and going towards the vehicle. So we stuck the head out the way. Nigga! And his hat blew off his head.